Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us.
time to waste. Trust no one. Things have stayed interesting. Watch your back. No one's stopped me yet. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. It's 
Now's a good time. No. The opposite. I feel like I can share this with you. I've never felt that way before. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. My name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. If you must, Astarian, but give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. A hand? Anyone?
That's it! Go on! Keep pulling! Hello. I'm Gail of Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather... Unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Oh, I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Perhaps I can join you later instead. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. 
As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns? To spill blood in this sacred place? It would have been easier if you just died, Korga. Now I have to hear your excuses instead. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I was going to show leniency, but Korga, a child is dead because of you. A thief is dead. She stole the idol, befouled the grove. Enough. If anyone befouled this place, it is you. By sowing division, hatred, death. As for the idol, it's nothing compared to a life, a mere object next to one of nature's creations. You show no pity, no remorse. I cannot absolve you. Nature will determine your fate. Whatever happens to you next, know that it is the Oak Father's will. Now get out of my sight. There is nothing more to be said. Apologies for that ugliness. A more bitter homecoming than I would have wished, but... At least the grove stands, thanks to you. Her punishment is only just beginning. Trust me, the grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Banished. Then banish me. When the coming army marches, there will be none left to protect you.
No more conflict. No more fighting. Just peace. The air feels different. Colder. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. 
We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, and not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. You have my thanks, and fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Thank you. spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lord, I bow to your boundless kindness. 